push. That's it, push. Now just concentrate on pushing. Yep, here we go. I see the head. Yep. Yes, it has a head! All right. <laughs> now that's it, keep pushing. Come on. I can't believe there's somebody coming out of you right now. There's somebody coming out of you. And it's, 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 it's my son. All right. Okay, doctors, we have a situation at hand. I have these files made for you guys. We can just take a look. So we had a uh, complicated delivery yesterday. A 30-year-old woman went into premature delivery at 28 weeks. Um, there was significant blood loss as well as stress. However, uh, the delivery was successful. Here's where the real problem came into play last night. So we had the baby that was uh, developing some real breathing concerns some lengthy pauses between his breath and he was showing signs of uh, struggling uh, for oxygen. So um, we moved him up to the neonatal intensive care unit. We're monitoring him right now. I'm just gonna pull up these images on the slide here, but just take a look and tell me, uh, what, do we, what do you think we have here? Well, the blood gases seem to show that the oxygen and pH levels are too low. And basically what that means is that the blood is too acidic at this point. So if you take a look at the normal range, um, which is also known as the reference range, it's definitely outside of this normal range that we have here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And looking through the files, the lab tests are negative for an infection. Oh, and if you also take a look at this x-ray, they seem not so good. Um, if you take a look at the normal uh, newborn's x-ray, uh, you can see how there is a difference because the one that we have here actually has a granulated or spotted appearance. Okay. And from this, I think it's RDS. So what's RDS then? So RDS means uh, respiratory distress syndrome. So basically what that means is that the baby lacks a slippery substance inside the lungs, which is known as surfactants. And this typically occurs in newborns who don't have fully developed lungs yet at this point. <clears throat> Okay, so what does the surfactant do then? Surfactant is a moist substance. It allows for the newborns to breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. And it also helps our lungs and prevents them from collapsing. Mm -hmm. So the lungs collapse because there <coughs> isn't enough surfactant being produced? That's right, Dr. Liz. So because the baby is premature and the lungs are not fully developed, there is poor blood flow to the lungs which prevents surfactant from being made properly. So which part of the lungs allows surfactant to be made? The alveoli produces it, and they need to be expanded in order for surfactant to be made. So how do we plan on treating this condition then? Well, since now the baby is delivered, we can provide breathing support through ventilation using a breathing tube. This will help the baby breathe. And on top of that, we can use an airway pressure machine to um, make it gentler for the baby and push air into its lungs through some prongs through its nostrils. Also, we need to administer synthetic surfactant through a breathing tube because the baby, baby is not making it so. All right, team. So, um, Dr. Liz, uh, what did we learn here today? Uh, okay, so respiratory distress syndrome is when a baby can't breathe properly um, because its lungs have not fully developed and it's not producing enough surfactant. And this is clearly more often happening in premature babies. And the way that we are going to treat him is through surfactant replacement therapy and then using an airway pressure machine to help ventilate it, to help it to breathe. Perfect. Well done, team. Um, I have no doubt you guys will be amazing doctors.